Good morning, guys. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina. Captain Brian, or uh, Captain Garrett, excuse me. Captain Garrett and the boys just got back in from a 39-hour adventure, and uh, they had a yellowtail catch like none other. They definitely had some nice red grouper, a couple big gag grouper, uh, lots of big yellowtail snapper, some big mangrove snapper, strawberries, Definitely a great variety to the catch. Richie, it looks like you guys did pretty well, huh? Yeah, fighting was real good during the, uh, at night for the uh, mangoes, and then uh, through the day, we started picking up the yellow tails. Maybe it was really nice. That fish was a little slow this time. I don't know if it was because of the weather, but other than that, we did a really good job. We got a couple uh, mahis in here. Yeah. Three little mahis in here somewhere. Got some mahi mahi. I saw some big scamp grouper. Big scamp some nice grouper. trigger fish. Where's your scamper at, Rich? Big, big, uh, let me see that big old scamp. You had one that had to be like 12 pounds, huh? Woo! Oh, that's a solid, probably eight, nine, ten pounder. That's a monster. What'd you get that scamp on? I was on cut bait. Cut bait? I was uh, right when the rain stopped. Uh, you guys had some rain out there, huh? Yeah. Just a little bit? Yeah, it wasn't a bad fish through it. Yeah, it started raining. Uh, it stopped raining, the fish started firing. Some amberjack, tough amberjack bite, but lots of mangroves. And uh, the big story on this trip was the yellowtail snapper. Tons. Tons of yellowtail. What'd you guys get them on? You get them on a lot of them. We get on squid. Squid, squid. I didn't get them. You got a lot of... Uh, and this trip only had 27 anglers. A lot of big strawberries, rock kinds, big vermilions. Look at that stringer of yellowtails. Holy moly. That's crazy. You got an Almaco, probably 10 yellowtails, keep a red grouper. Big mango, that's quite the stringer. Everyone's getting fish holes except the mango. <laughs> <laughs> I always get beat up. And, uh, that's awesome. Nice mangoes over there. Got nice a mango. Of, uh, sand tiles. Yeah. I've been seeing those sand tiles more, it seems like. Yeah. That's awesome. That's strawberry, nice strawberry down there. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice red hind. That's one of the best eat. Yeah, nice white fillet on that. Yes, sir. Nice pile of fish. Well, you saw it, guys. Captain Garrett did really well on this 39-hour trip. The amberjack bite finally slowed down a little bit for us, but hopefully that's just uh, a product of the area we were fishing on this one and uh, definitely ended up pretty darn good with a nice catch of fish, good grade of yellowtail snapper, Tons of yellowtail. Yellowtail bites really picked up for us. Saw a consistent mangrove snapper. You saw a couple nice red grouper, a couple nice, really nice gag grouper, uh, plenty of scamp grouper, red uh, strawberry grouper, and then uh, a good variety of other fish mixed in there, plus a couple keeper amber jacks and big bar jacks, uh, almaco jacks. So all around a great catch on this 39-hour fishing trip. As far as the weather's concerned, guys, a lot of what we've talked about is kind of coming to fruition, but that little tail of that low is unfortunately now forecasted to kind of break off and become something uh, right there at the base of the Western Caribbean, Southwest Caribbean, and uh, could be coming into the Gulf here. Uh, the Northern Gulf, Northwest Gulf looks like Louisiana coastline or the Eastern side of Texas could take a storm here probably Sunday into Monday morning. And uh, some of those mo forecast models currently have it being a pretty strong tropical system. So that could perhaps affect some of the weather here Saturday into Sunday and into Monday morning. But hurry up and wait. A lot could change with that. But right now forecast is looking a little adverse there starting Saturday and into Sunday. So we're keeping an eye, a close eye on that. If you're booked on our weekend 39-hour trip right now, we're just, again, keeping a close eye on it. We'll make a final decision tomorrow morning. 
once we know for sure what that tropical system is going to do because we want to get out there and take advantage of this great fishing that we're seeing right now today we've got super light loads on our five and ten hour trips it's a little breezy today but only around two and a half three foot so not terrible so we're going to be able to get out there and do some fishing today it looks like Tomorrow we'll be able to get out there on our day trips, the 12 hour night trips in a little bit of a uh, in a little bit of a pickle with the weather, the 39 hour trips got a question mark next to it doesn't look terrible but doesn't look great. We're going to wait and see on those trips tomorrow morning, 12 hour night, 39 hour trip. We'll make decisions again Friday about mid morning after the morning boats get out. So hopefully we'll be able to get out there on those trips, but time will tell. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Hopefully, we'll see you soon inside John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. Stay tuned for more weather and fishing updates. And don't forget about our fri uh, Friday morning Fox 13 news report, our Saturday morning radio show on News Radio 970 WFLA, the Real Animals radio show from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., and then Sunday night, our live stream show. Don't forget about that. And uh, my son starts school today. My son Jack is officially starting school. So definitely feeling a little weird this morning. So I'm going to hurry up, get out of here so we can get these boats off the dock and go drop him off at school. <laughs> See you guys. Have a great day.